What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new add-on from Fredo6 that allows us to quickly edit holes in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download Hole Editor from the Sketchication plugin store. So I'll link to it in the notes down below. It's a free add-on from Fredo6, and it really does one thing, which is helps you edit holes in your SketchUp models. So let's say, for example, that we've got an object like this one, and we've gone through and we've used the circle tool, so just like this, and then we've push-pulled a hole through this object like this. Um, so if you've ever done this and um, you need to edit it or change the size, um, you know that basically what you have to do is you just have to come in here and delete the whole thing, right? And then draw a new circle to whatever size you want and then push pull it again, right? There's no real good way to edit this. I mean, you could come in here and kind of mess with the scale tool, but then it starts messing with your topology. It's not really what you want. So what hole editor does is it allows you to find holes that you've cut in objects. Note that this only works for circular holes, but you can take those, you can select them, and then you can edit the holes. So if I was to select one side of this, you don't need to select all the geometry just on one side, but if I was to select this and then adjust this so that maybe my radius is like five inches, and we'll go ahead and set our number of segments to maybe 12, but if I click on okay, that's gonna come in here and that's going to resize that hole in your object. And so you can do this both for radius as well as segment count. So let's say I wanted this to be a 48 inch segment count with a 10 inch hole. I could type those values in and notice how that's gonna resize that and it's gonna change the number of segments. So um, a couple things to note about this. So as long as your hole is cut through an object with a flat face like this, it should work. And so let's say for example that I wanted to take this one, make it 18 inches. You wanna be careful because if you make this too big, then your hole's just gonna go away. Um, so if I click in here, maybe, maybe we'll just make it 12 inches. But notice how that's coming in here and that's resizing this and it has no problem with this geometry because it's on a flat surface. Now, um, where I think this might get a little bit weird is say that you used a circle to cut this hole and then you exploded the curve and then you tried to do this. So let's say I was to, whoops. Let's say I was to try to pick up this geometry like this, and then I was to try to run whole editor, it's not going to work, right? Now, um, you might be able to, if you come in here and you right click and you weld these edges, you can see how that's not gonna work either. So if you've got a hole where um, the edges have been exploded, then this isn't going to work anymore. Another area where this isn't going to work is if you're on a curved surface like this one. So if I look at um, my hidden geometry in here, um, this just isn't really in here. And I try to select this, it's not really going to pick it up right, right? Because when I draw this circle, and I basically use solid tools to cut this hole, um, it's not going to recognize this as a circle because it's not on a singular plane. So this isn't going to work on holes that are in um, non-flat surfaces like this. It does work really well with holes like this one that are in a flat surface. Okay, and so one other cool thing about this, and this is where you could really save some time, is let's say that you had a bar like this one, you'd already came in and you'd put these holes on the points that you want, but you wanna resize them. Well, right now, what you would have to do is just double click in here and start deleting things and redrawing your circles. But notice how this is grouped geometry. What this is gonna do is this is going to check group geometry for holes on the first level inside. So if I was to click on this, Notice what this is going to do is, let's say I was to bring this down to like two inches and click on okay. Notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna resize every single hole that's in here. So it's finding the holes that are in this group and it's resizing them. So if you need to resize a bunch of holes at once, this could be a massive time saver. Um, in addition, if you do have something like this, let's go ahead and make a copy of it over here, but let's say you do have something like this where you have a bunch of holes and you wanna get rid of them, there's an option over here on the right to delete circular holes. So um, what that did is that came in here and that removed those circular holes. Now you wanna be a little bit careful with this though because notice what it does is it's removing them from both of these groups right here. I'm not really sure why because this isn't an instance of a component. Maybe I just need to rename it. So maybe like group one or something like that. 
Nope, it still removes them. So do be aware that when you make a copy like this, and then you try to remove this, it is removing it from both copies of that instance. But if we were to come over here and say we wanted to do that on this one, we could click on this hole, click on remove, and it's just gonna remove that really quickly. All right, so this is a very simple tool for a singular purpose, but it does seem to do that pretty well. So it's something you could definitely add to your toolbox, especially because it's free. So if you do wanna find some more great extensions that are gonna help you create cool things in SketchUp, make sure you check out my ultimate extensions guide that I'll link to on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.